Welcome to Miami, everybody. Welcome to my Miami studios. Welcome to the city that was once a really, really great sports city and may one day again, if I can help a little bit, turn into a great city again. Now, there are some sports cities that are pretty sad, um, but there are some cities that are up and coming and we're gonna talk about them today. I'm Mike Canalupo, and today we present the top 10 up and coming sports cities. And a huge shout out to Rams Nation 1937 for suggesting this video. Denver, uh, the Broncos were built well under John Elway. Now they have Vaughn Miller, Chris Harris Jr., uh, Bradley Roby. Uh, that's a, a nice trio. Uh, the Rockies made the NL wildcard game in 2017. They have so many big sluggers, including Nolan Arenado. Uh, the Nuggets, they look pretty solid with Paul Millsap. The Avalanche are, they're loaded with stars as well. Uh, you know, this is a city that has had a lot of success in sports, uh, not in a while where all four teams have been playoff good, but this could be the year. Phoenix, only the 2001 Diamondbacks brought this city a championship ever. And uh, I think that's all about the change. The Diamondbacks remain a power in the NL West with Paul Goldschmidt. The Cardinals at least have a quarterback to look forward to in Josh Rosen. Now the Coyotes have uh, Dylan Strome, uh, and a bunch of really good young talent. Uh, the Coyotes rebuild is probably starting to wrap up. The Suns have Devin Booker, uh, DeAndre Hayton, Josh Jackson. This could be a great next big four in the NBA if it's built, you know, slowly. St. Paul, Minnesota. 2017 was a heartbreaker for the Twins, the Timberwolves, the Wild, and the Vikings, but that's all about to change. Well, uh, actually the Wild probably won't be that good for much longer, but the Timberwolves have Andrew Wiggins and Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, Jimmy Butler's probably leaving in 2019, but Wiggins, Towns, they're going to be a fine duo. The Twins have a great young roster. Max Kepler, uh, Brian Buxton, Eddie Rosario. Those guys are going to get a lot of wins. The Twins are going to contend again soon. The Vikings have a top five unit in the NFL, loaded with young stars, Kirk Cousins, Dalvin Cook, Stephon Diggs, Adam Thielen. The Vikings could really win multiple Super Bowls. It will be great for Minnesota, a great sports city that has endured so much. Cleveland. Yes, we have to put them on the list. Don't be upset because LeBron James left. It's time for now the Browns and Indians to take over. What just happened? I say Cleveland and shit goes awry. This is my John Denny Pro Bowl jersey, by the way. Uh-oh. Well, for the rest of the video, this is coming down. Listen, the Cavs are going to tank, realistically. They're not gonna be good for a while. But really, it's the Indians. It's all about the Indians. John Denny, Pro Bowl long snapper for the Miami Dolphins for the last 14 years, and I have his Pro Bowl jersey. Thanks, John Denny Gods, for falling. Go ahead, Cleveland. You might have a shot. Milwaukee, the Packers, they don't count. Uh, the Brewers are going to be a juggernaut. They have Christian Yelich, they have Lorenzo Cain, uh, Travis Shaw. They're all hitting really well. Um, they have a couple of the top prospects in all of baseball. The Brewers are going to challenge the Cubs in the NL Central for years now. The Bucks, they've got uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And what else do you really have to say? He could honestly be the next generational talent in the NBA. Houston, the Astros won the 2017 World Series, so why can't they win more? There are so many core players under the age of 30 with a very strong farm system. This group is going to win multiple championships. Uh, the Texans, they've got J.J. Watt, DeAndre Hopkins, and Deshaun Watson. That is a young core that's going to be so good. The Rockets, they've got James Harden and Chris Paul. They almost beat the Warriors, a team a lot of people considered unbeatable in 2018. They can do it again. Houston could start throwing lots of title parades soon. Chicago, the Blackhawks dynasty, three cups is probably over, but there's plenty to love in Chicago still. The Cubs won the 2016 World Series, and there's a lot more winning in baseball along the way. I mean, even the White Sox have baseball's best farm system, so there's potential for success in the other side of Chicago as well. We can get an all Chicago World Series potentially soon. The Bears actually have a future. Mitch Trubisky, Khalil Mack, Jordan Howard, and the Bulls. Well, uh, they had Michael Jordan once, so that still counts. Toronto, it's been a painful 20 plus years 
for Toronto. If you exclude what the CFL Argonauts have done, which yes, we're excluding, they haven't done much. The Raptors now have Kawhi Leonard. They have the league's best bench and Kyle Lowry. Uh, the East will be wide open without LeBron. The Blue Jays will have an elite farm system with their top prospect, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., who looks just like his dad up at the plate. Uh, it's going to be maybe a decent season for the Blue Jays for years to come. The Maple Leafs actually look scary with Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner. And now they sign John Tavares. He is a world-class talent and he is going to bring the Leafs to a Stanley Cup for the first time in whew, so, so long. The Raptors could reach the finals very soon. The Blue Jays own a handful of the game's next great stars. It's looking up in Toronto. Los Angeles, the Dodgers are just going to keep being the Dodgers. They have so much talent, they'll keep winning the NL West handedly. Uh, Corey Seager, uh, Justin Turner, Clayton Kershaw, you name it, the team is great. The Rams are going to be the next super team with Goff, Gurley, Cooks, Peters, and Aaron Donald. The Chargers may actually do something finally with all the talent that they have. The Angels, well, I mean, at least they have Mike Trout. The Lakers, they just got LeBron. Kawhi Leonard wants to sign with one of the two LA-based teams after he's a Raptor. There are so many sports teams in LA and so many chances to win a championship. It's going to be a good decade for Tinseltown. Philadelphia, we've already touched base on this. Uh, we made a whole video about it, but you already know how great the Eagles are going to be for the future. They just won the Super Bowl. But the Phillies, they have a top 10 farm system. They have Reese Hopkins. They have Ardrugal Herrera. They have a Cy Young winner in Jake Arrieta, who's still playing well. Uh, the 76ers, we're trusting the process and it's happening. The Flyers, they've still got Claude Giroux, Carton Hart. They've got some great players. Super Bowl 52 was the first title for many upcoming titles in Philly sports. They are the next great sports city. What other sports city do you think will dominate most over the next decade? Um, if you think I'm interesting enough to have a John Denny Pro Bowl jersey, follow me on Instagram. No reason not to. Twitter too, I like Twitter. Until next time, I'm Mike Hamlet, bro. Thanks for watching. My knee.